Hi, this is Kate. Welcome to In the Studio, Kate. This is week 32. Um, this week I'm recording on a Wednesday. I usually record it on Friday and then just upload it, but I will be at a um, spinning and weaving festival um, called the Great Base and Faber Arts Festival on Friday in a class. So well, it'll be kind of hard for me to upload anything. So I'm recording a little bit earlier. So that means I have a shorter week, so I don't have that much to share. I've been working in my moleskin journal, you know, it's about this big, you know, that kind of paper, um, this week. Um, the first thing I have to share is a pencil sketch that I did. Um, this from a picture off of Pinterest, but, you know, I really made her look a whole lot different than what the picture was, so. Um, but she was fun to do. Tried to make her into some kind of wise woman, but I don't know. She looks a little stern, doesn't she? Um, and then I was playing one day with just some watercolor. So that was just some watercolor. Um, no particular pattern or anything was I thinking when I created that. And then I've just been doing a lot of doodling on it. Since then, I've had these two little serpents sitting right next to each other that seem to have come out and you know just all sorts of different imagery using some colored pencil to change it and lots of white gel pen and black gel pen and paint and just kind of fun just something to get me doing some art that day um, and then I showed a picture I took a picture of my bleeding heart plant and put it on the internet and then I decided I would try to paint it <laughs> And so here's the little painting I did of the little plant. Um, it was kind of fun. Uh, uh, they were a lot harder to, to draw than I had expected, but that seems to be the norm lately. Um, but that was kind of fun. It's kind of fun to take something that's right near you and actually do a sketch of it. Um, and today I was doing an art date with a friend and... Um, I decided I wanted to try to use some of this new blue tone paper, although I think it looks green, personally. Um, <clears throat> and it was a little kind of a frustrating um, experience. <laughs> Not the paper, but what I was doing on the paper and what I was attempting to do. I was attempting to draw a fox, okay? And so this is the picture that I had of this fox, okay? Not the best picture to choose, I decided. So um, I'll show you what I did, and then I'll show you all the things I learned about what not to do. Um, my suggestion first is if you want to learn how to draw something you've never drawn before, this probably isn't the way to do it. Um, probably the easiest way I'm thinking is go on YouTube, look for videos that tell you how to draw a fox, and then work in graphite first. Um, just to get familiar with the shape um, and so on and so forth. I didn't do any of those things because I always do things backwards. But this was the fox that I drew and I used color pencil. I used polychromos. They're made by Faber-Castell. Um, they look like that and they're a really nice colored pencil. Um, but I, I felt limited by the number of colors that I had, and then I couldn't get the, the colors to get dark enough. So it was really quite an experiment of learning about the pencils a little bit more and um, learning that a fox's fur has so many amazing colors in it, you wouldn't expect reds to be in it. I thought, oh, it's kind of, it's kind of raw sienna, burnt sienna looking. No, <laughs> there's lots of colors in it. Um, although it didn't turn out exactly the way I would have liked, I feel like I learned a lot by by doing the um, doing the thing in colored pencil. Colored pencil is not it's a medium that I like, but it's a medium that I'm not necessarily totally comfortable with, which is probably because I don't use it a lot. Which you have to use things a lot to learn more about them. So. Um, I, have, I like my little fox that I made. I will um, use them as a tip-in in in this journal, and I'll just probably use washi tape to, to secure him down. Um, and I'll do something on the other side as well. But um, I liked working on the paper. The paper is really nice. Um, 
But um, my <laughs> recommendation is, if you're going to learn to draw something new, don't start out this way with, you know, a colored paper, colored pencils you're not familiar with. Um, go simple. <laughs> go simple and use graphite and, and probably pick a picture that's a little bit easier. I mean, the way this fox's body is. You know, this blob down here is actually the tail, and it was it was really kind of hard to actually render it. Um, I don't think I came anywhere near close being the colors that it's supposed to be, but um, I still learned a lot. Um, I think in art, when we take on something new, that's really important. Like, if it doesn't turn out the way you want, that's still okay. Uh, what, what I think would be um, detrimental is if you didn't learn something. Um, and I learned quite a few things actually working with um, this blue paper and trying to draw something that was new to me. Um, I will try to do some more. I'm going to try and draw some more foxes because they're fun to draw. Um, and probably a different viewpoint for sure. Like with the whole body. So we could do the tail up in the air would be kind of cool. So this is probably just the first of many foxes. But um, I, I'm glad I took the jump. I took the plunge and tried it. Um, a lot of us just don't try anything at all. And so I think that's really important to step out there and take a chance. It might not be out perfect the first time. It's probably not going to be. But if you have fun along the way, if you learn more about your art materials or how you work as an artist, then I think that those are all win-win things. So I, I just wanted to share that today. That's just like fresh off the um, today I did that a couple hours ago so um, I just wanted to you know get a post out for you because I didn't think what the place I'm going I'll probably have internet that I can actually um, do a recording it's probably a little bit more difficult so I'll have this up on Friday hopefully there are no um, technological glitches of trying to get it done ahead of time um, but if you're doing something fun in your studio, if you're trying something new, I'd love to hear about it. Leave me a comment, leave me a, a link to your, to a post you've made about it, um, or, the, or to the picture, if you have it posted online. I would love to see what you're doing um, to actually stretch yourself a little bit in your own art practice. Um, and that'll be it until next week. I hope you're having a great day, and let's make art.